Hello guys and girls, Foxy Raven TV here with another Fallout 76 video and today we'll be checking out power armors. So what power armor you should be going for and so on and so on. So I have I have a few uh, complete sets here of power armors and um, just to see what resistance they offer and uh, and so on. Some of these are not legendary and we'll start off with the T. 51B here, and as you can see, they're not legendary at all. Some of my power armor are legendary because they just are, and um, yeah. So, so we will have to calculate a little about that. But here is the uh, the T51B here with the uh, Nuka Cola skin on it. <coughs> Looks amazing in my opinion. But what resistance do, does it ha have? So it has 410, 410, and 300. And 41 so it's not much at all this power armor is 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 for low levels in my opinion you can get this at I think it's f 35 or something you can already get these armors here no it's actually 30 as you can see level 30 so I collected this back in the days as level 30 so of course if you have the plans you can get this uh, the resistance higher up, but this is actually level 30 already you can get this power armor. So at, at level 30, it is actually a kind of good power armor, I have to say. So uh, yeah, that is that. So uh, let's go over to something else. Let's uh, move up a tad. I think the excavator here. So yeah, you can see the leg here. It's because it's a legendary, I just put it on. Uh, I, I must have collected a legendary at some point and just put it on for some odd reason. I don't know why. So, uh, yeah. The excavator here. This does not have the calibrated shock, it doesn't seem like. Uh, what about the left leg? No. So, um, yeah. The excavator here. Let's have a look. Oh, and if you experience the, uh, the power armor bug, Go into a third person by pressing pressing V uh, on keyboard, and uh, and you you should not get the uh, the the buck when you go in and out of power armor if you do it in third person. If you do it in first person, you can experience a buck where it just stands still there for several minutes. But if you're in third person, this will not happen, guys and girls. Anywho, let's see here. So this resistance is 350, 350, and uh, a tad more in radiation, 526. But this is uh, excavator, uh, and it's it's just not good in my opinion. Uh, people like it because you can have so much, uh, you can carry so much when you have the calibrated chug on it. But it's just not for me. So let's go over to the I think the ultra site is next here. So the ultra side, I don't have any. Uh, there are no legendaries on these here. So uh, let's go inside here. Pop in a fusion car, boom, boom, and then go into it here. And let's see. It looks amazing. This uh, this armor, I have to say, it really does. So yeah, let's see here. So these stats here, this is actually a good power armor in my opinion. So you have a decent amount of ballistic and also energy and radiation resistance with this one here. I actually think I have a perk card here. Yeah, I have this one. So we have a plus 100 radiation resistance on all of our armors as well because of the watch rats. So have that in mind. Um, so it's actually only 453 in radiation resistance here. So yeah, it's uh, the the ultra side is actually a good level 50 beginner's power armor. I have to say, it is my favorite when I make a new character. Um, then the T60 here. I don't think are there any legendaries on this one. I don't think no. Let's get inside here. So this one has the jetpack on it, as you can see. It's the uh, V Vertigo, I think. What is it called? It's called something like that. Yeah, the Verti Vertiguard, whatever. But yeah. So the resistance on this one <coughs> is uh, 
It's 444, 414, and then 410, because we have the watch rats on there that gives us plus 100. So it's it's actually a decent power armor as well. And the power armor is level level 40 only, so you can actually get a a, a plus on that as well. So yeah, I don't have them all in in the max max level here. But uh, yeah, this is a, a decent power armor, and this look at look at this, it just looks amazing with the propels on. Uh, it's a it's a decent looking power armor um, with the skin on, of course. Uh, so yeah, let's get over to my yeah. Let's uh, do the X X O one here, and I don't think I have any legendaries on this. Nope. But they are all level 50 though. And this is with the uh, Nuka Quantum skin on it as well. Let's see. Hey, look at that. Looks amazing. Oh, the, the light as well. I like it. Looks amazing with the uh, Quantum on it. So what does it give us? It gives us 508. 563. And 513. That is that is actually amazing. That is a good power armor, the XO one here, and you can get the XO one when you complete the um, the white spring um, uh, thing here with the uh, with the bunker here. You have to do a, a a few quests in order to be able to buy this set here. So yeah, that is a decent looking power armor for sure. Let's move up a tad here, and I think we need, we need the Hellcat, here we go. And the Hellcat is a legendary though, so yeah, it will not tell you precise how much resistance and so on, but yeah, let's go inside here, and the Hellcat is looking amazing in my opinion. It is a good, good looking power armor. It is. Look at that. Looks good, and the uh, oh, I have I have the red, red light on it. Looks nice, and the resistance is something something else. So five hundred and and eighty three, and then we have some legendary as uh, as well. Maybe we have some legendaries that that is boosting up the ballistic and energy as well. But as you can see, the energy is not that high again, and the radiation is not that high. Only three hundred and eighty. I don't think I have. Do we have any radiations on them? We do not have any radiations on this one. Uh, do we have any radiations on this one? I don't think, no. And on this one? No, no, no. So yeah, the radiation is, is low. We have some fire resistance here. Uh, what was the... Oh yeah, we actually have... That is actually for... Uh, Energy resistance and ballistic uh, re uh, resistance, not for the uh, radiation resistance. So uh, yeah, the uh, the Hellcat has the lowest of uh, of the uh, radiation resi resistance in the whole game here. As you can see, it's only f 380. That is low, like insanely low. So that is another reason I do not like the Hellcat. Because it just don't have any radiation resistance on it. So let's get over to... What are we missing? We're missing the T-65. And this is my favorite of them all. I have to say. Now that the... Um, the Strangler Heart Poison actually don't work well anymore. I mean... It, it, it's, it's just not worth it anymore to do a Strangler Heart Power Armor. Unless you want the thorns, of course, the the look of it. But li th this is looking nice. The skin, I like the skin a lot. It reminds me of uh, Batman, to be honest, uh, with his uh, power armor. Yeah, it looks amazing. Um, so yeah, let's see for the resistance. So the resistance on, on this one is really really good. Seven hundred and twenty-five, six hundred and thirty, and six hundred and thirty. And we have, of course, the watch rats. So it's actually five hundred and thirty. But as you can see, this is actually a decent power armor. We have an assassin here with no resistance on it. And we have the helmet, no resistance on. Uh, on the legendary perks here. So we have this one, tin. 
damage resistance, energy resistance when you are mutated, so that is just it. So we have to take 10 off that. Then we have some poison resistance, that's just it here. And uh, what about here? So nothing here. And nothing here either. So yeah, we have to take 10 off, so it's 715 and 620 and 530. So it's actually a good, good power armor for the resistance. It is really, really good. And then we have my, my used to be, well, favorite power armor here. And that used to be the Strangler Heart. But as, as the Strangler Heart don't work anymore, uh, that well, well, it works, but uh, enemies are taking like no damage whatsoever. So it's, it's pointless to use unless, of course, you want the thorns. Uh, or wines or whatever you will call them, the, the leaves, um, like uh, like you see here. So they will pop on when I get into it, look there. They popped on just perfectly. And as you can see, 575, 515, 710 minus 100, that is 610. This one has radiation resistance like a champ. And as you can see, we do not have any resistance on here. Do we have a resistance? We do actually have energy and damage resistance on this one when we are low health. So we are not that. And uh, oh, it actually also have poison resistance here. This one, nope. And down here, this one has radiation resistance. So we have to minus a 25 more here. Yeah, we do. So uh, minus 125 now. Radiation resistance again here. So we actually have to minus 150. And this one does not have anything, no. So minus 150. That is still what? That is 560 in radiation resistance. That is still pretty darn high in my opinion. So yeah, the Strangler Heart is a, is a, it's a, it's a good midterm, of course. Uh, in resistance wise, both ballistic energy and also radiation, it's it's just a perfect match in my opinion. Um, so yeah, but the best one in resistance is still the T65 of these power armors that I have currently. So yeah, yeah, there you have it. Now you can you can see what you want to to farm for and and what you need to get and so on. I would suggest you get the T65 just to be a tank in general and maybe the Strangler Heart as a DPS kind of thing because it still does a little more poison damage but it's it's so little that it's you, you can't see it really. But um, yeah, the Hellcat is good as well. It's just not my favorite. I, I, I don't think why people think that the Hellcat is so good. I mean, surely, surely you get the two ballistic damage reduction. It's 2%. It's only 2%, guys and girls. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. No, it's actually only 5 because of the helmet don't give it. So it is only 10% ballistic damage reduction. Ballistic is bullets. It's not energy. It's not explosive. Ballistic counts as bullets only. So, so bullets hit on you. You take 10% less damage from. It is only 10%. That is nothing. That is absolutely nothing. So yeah, the Hellcat is, is not a fa favorite of mine, not at all. But yeah, there you have it guys and girls. A, uh, a quick guide on, uh, on power armors and uh, what I like and what I do not like. So uh, yeah, tell me in the comment sections what, sh what, what is your pa favorite power armor. Do you like the Strangler Heart a lot? Do you like the C65? Do you like the Excavator or the Hellcat maybe? Tell me in the comment section and uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.